and making a little, a little career, a career for myself on the side. But yeah. the other thing too is uh, storytelling, art through storytelling. And I'm a very expressive person, mm-hmm. um, and I love color, and I love being bold. And the way to tell the story is through art. And um, even music can do that. But since I'm not a musician, <laughs> um, I felt the, the strength of using um, artwork to express how I felt, where I've been, what I see, how I interpret the world. And I've always wanted to continue doing that. And and now seeing the realm of how art can affect people um, on every realm of life is, is amazing. So uh, being even in school and doing that small elective class, um, I wanted to take off with it and continue from there um, and finding the venue to do it. So actually going into public, my first, I would say, art festival was in uh, Henderson, the Green Valley District. And this is back in, I believe, in, I want to say the ninth, nineteen ninety, no, early two thousands. I want to say. Okay. And even then, I, I, I hungered for it. I kept on wanting to go for it because I thought people loved it. And they said, "What's the story behind this?" And I would tell them, "Well, this is. It's like looking at photos. So mm-hmm. instead of me showing you a photo, I would paint something that I wanted to tell a story about because of an experience that I had, or." hearing someone else's experience and painting about it hmm. and creating artwork from there. So basically I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to actually be peace of mind to people's um, hearts and just let them know, hey, this is how I interpret the world. This is who I am. And not just with how I dress and my hairstyle, but also um, through my artwork. I, I love that you were like, you can't play music, but you also weren't painting beforehand too. So <laughs> have you ever tried doing music? Because maybe you're just automatically really good at it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know, that's the funny thing that you asked, because I do, um, when we moved here, um, there are a lot of things that we decided not to take with us, because um, it wasn't necessary. We knew they were going to be placed, you know, one of them, the, one of that would be furniture. My husband has an acoustic guitar, one of those small acoustic guitars. Um, he bought that many, many decades, years before he met me, because he had Achilles tendon surgery and had it to uh, rest it in between re- uh, recovering. And he bought the guitar as a way to um, stave off boredom. Uh, but he never okay. got back to it. And he was about to leave the guitar when we left Vegas. I said, don't you dare. We can use that. And if you don't use it, the kids are going to use it. If uh, the kids don't use it, I'll use it. Right. <laughs> so I, <laughs> using YouTube, the miracle of YouTube, I sat down one day and my kids and I decided, let's see if there's something on that we can try out. Unfortunately, it's adult size, not for children. Yeah. And... I, I'm still trying to go back to wanting to learn, and it's, in my opinion, I think keyboarding is a lot easier than oh yeah, uh, guitar. Yeah, no, it is, it is. That's uh, one of the things that I've uh, when I make music, I mainly use the keyboard because I'm like, well, I know where the notes are. I'll figure it out later, and then I never do. So I always end up just sticking with keys. Yeah, was, I don't know. I I, I get my friend Lauren has learned he. I don't know if he went through an instructor or if he taught himself or was a combination. I forget which, but he um, is really good at um, playing the guitar. So oh. I thought to myself, you know, if he can do the guitar, then I will continue with learning how to do the piano through my children. <laughs> okay. So see, you are actually getting the ability to play music. I knew that it couldn't be completely like you can't be, you can't play music. I knew there had to be something in there. <laughs> I didn't believe you for a Complete second. Complete <laughs> 